So what we're here, what we've got here, we're working on the operators level, okay? So this shop floor level, we're gonna. There's two separate products, so work instructions and error proofing, okay? So the work instructions, we'll go through that first. Traditionally, a work instruction is a, a laminated sheet, and it's stuck near the robot or the machine. It's for the operator to follow and to complete the process. Now these ones, they've been ripped, they, they're incorrect. You know, it, it takes time and money to print out new sheets when sheets go missing, sheets are lost. So on the nice screen, you can, you can change them in the back end, so if, if you need to update it. So when we printed out this one, for instance, text was missing off of it. Now we're able to just type text on and send it back down. Where it's printed out another sheet, laminated another sheet, there's time, it's money, the machine's not running while we're waiting for that sheet. So this is, the, this is telling me how to stop the machine ready for the changeover. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press the red button and then the robot's gonna stop and now my work, work instruction sheet is gonna change, telling me what to do next. Okay, so now it's telling me how, where I should add the fixtures, making sure my fixture recipe is correct. So this brings us on to our error proofing. Okay, so if we look on this screen, we've got our fixture recipe and our fixtures present. So this is inside. So we're all working off of um, the, these little black tags. They're working off the radio frequencies. Okay, so we've got six sensors around. And so they're, they're asset tracking, okay, and tool tracking. So we've got, at the moment, it's telling me there's four inside the cell. So that needs to be correct before the robot will run. And I can try pressing the green button again. It won't let me because it goes through the program. It won't let us um, go. So if I was to take out these two. So now, so now my recipe is correct. So with the recipe being correct, it's, so it's checking the program. It's, there's only two parts in the cell now. So, so this, this part is basically, if the operator has gone, put the wrong bits in, press go on the machine. You don't want the machine to go, start creating the wrong parts, because then there's waste, there's cost. Okay, so now it's correct. I've checked, I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. The green light is on, so I can press go. And now my robot goes again. Yeah? And then also my work instruction changes back over. So this could be on to my next changeover. Okay, so this was so we've on there. We've worked with two products. They they work well on their own, but they also work together. So as you go along the line, you will see how each different part of this will work on its own. But it'll also as you use them all together. So we're only using one collect box through Industry Web. It's powering the, the, the screens, and it's set. So they're all using the same program. It's sending down the different bits to it, okay?